Hey, my Aries babies. This is EJ from Tarot Tarot. I hope everybody is having a good week this week. This is going to be Aries and Libra. Sitting in the tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. So since we are now officially through the first week of August, this will just be the standard um, reading. It's going to be enhanced with both decks. So it will be three for the recent past, three for current energy, and three for future energy. I'll do two for overall, well actually four, and three for guidance from the universe. So this is just going to be a standard uh, Aries and Libra sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. A reminder that I do my cards straight up. I don't do reversals. For the month of August, Aries and Libra, if you are a subscriber, you can get a $5 reading from me. So hit me up either at tarotatarot at gmail or inbox me here on YouTube. My average time right now is about 30 to 40 minutes per reading. So it's a full reading. It ain't no little skimpy shit. Oh, you're going to have a good day tomorrow. No, it's a full reading. I blow you straight out. Um, so whatever you're asking for, whatever you're trying to find out about, let me know. And we will make that happen for you. Thank you to all of you that have so far liked, shared, and subscribed. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. I am amazed every morning I get up and I look at the numbers and I go, damn, there are other people in the world that get it. So I appreciate you so much. I pray for you every day. Let's see what we got going on. So Aries, I'm reading for you as the primary with your Libra partner. So here we go. Overall energy. Stand your ground. And mental conflict. I can't stand that card. I promise you that. Just like, just expose your brain, your mind. You know what I'm saying? Just, I don't like it. I don't like it. But the energy off of it is strong. So let's see what we got. For the recent past, we have balance. Suffering in silence. And patience. For your current energy, Aries, spiritual union, your centerpiece, and your challenge card, passion ignited. And at the end of your current energy, heartache and loss. For your future energy, rejoice and celebration, rest and rejuvenate, and triumph and success. All right. Now from this deck, stand your ground, pulls the queen of swords, and mental conflict, pulls the eight of coin, balance, pulls the king of coin, suffering in silence, pulls the knight of swords, patience, pulls the magician, current energy, spiritual union, pulls the high priestess, passion ignited, the centerpiece and challenge card, the ace of coins, Heartache and loss pulls the strength. Future energy, rejoice and celebration pulls the judgment. Rest and rejuvenate pulls Knight of Cups. And the triumph and success pulls the Five of Coins. Oh, it's that back and forth crap. Here we go. All right, Aries. Um, here we go. Yeah. So for, it looks like a lot of the rams, you've had to really get up in your shit <laughs> and stand your damn ground and start telling folks, <laughs> we will do this and we will not do that. That's your overall energy. You're back into your overall energy. It's a mental conflict. You've been working hard, Aries. You've been trying to perfect everything how you deal with your relationships, how you deal with folks at work, how you deal with the kids, how you deal with the checkbook. You have been trying to get that, get your skill level. I mean, just what the hell I'm saying. You have been trying to get your skill level up to 10 on everything. You've been working hard this year. That's your overall energy. Um, but in this relationship, 
But it's sitting on top of that mental conflict. You're trying to understand if you go back why you got to be standing your ground right now making rules and shit because <laughs> you've been working hard. You're not understanding why your Libra is not falling in line. And that is causing you some mental anguish. We're just going to put that where it is. And that's your overall energy. And I understand the Aries. That's my rise. Uh, Aries is my rising sign. Yeah. So I get it. I get it. Um, you busy trying to build, build, build and produce and make things the way that you want them and when it comes to your air sign you feel like you gotta go all school teacher on their ass right there i'm doing all this work and you you clowning around and i don't think aries your your libra is so much clowning around and that queen of swords is air energy, but that's what you're projecting back. Um, they're not clowning around, they're analyzing. And if this is your first out with a Libra, or any air sign for that matter, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, <coughs> they're not Rams. I'm a Taurus, Aries, and Taurus, even though we are right together. Um, next to each other as horoscope zodiac signs uh, we still even though you're fire aries we still share some of the same traits and just look at the animals we're talking about um a ram and a taurus so at some point aries and i said this the other day where's my lighter and you're dealing with air it's air but when you're dealing with fire Fire is always grounded in something. A lighter, a campfire, wood, gasoline, whatever you're doing. Fire has to have something to go with. <laughs> it's not, you're not just materializing fire. Okay, there are some people that I'm sure <laughs> fire starters and make that shit happen. But you understand what I'm saying. Fire comes from somewhere. But where's air? There's no little thing, okay, you can buy cans of compressed air if you're trying to clean out your keyboard on your computer. But where's air? Air is everywhere. Now, granted, I need that air to make that fire go. <laughs> I'm just saying. If I light my candle, I put this lid on that candle, it's over. Game done. There's no fire. Done. Nothing. If you can get those concepts, it will go a long way in helping you understand Aries, how your Libra thinks. They are everywhere. I had a fan going over here. I can feel the air blowing on me, but where is it? You can't see it. It's there. You're breathing it, but it's all over. And so when you get into thinking processes, air signs don't have that. Thing they come out of because it's all over and sometimes when air signs are dealing with other signs that are grounded in something whether it's water grounded to the grounded to the ground period water or coming from the sky it's still coming from a place when dealing with earth signs and air signs dust storms so when you think of it like that it, it will take you a long way in understanding how your Libra processes information. When we look at your recent past, um, you came into this area stable and balanced. It looks like a lot of you did a lot of inside work before you started on this little project with your Libra. And you walked into this relationship like, cut out, I'm here, I'm ready, I'm emotionally strong, thank you, and I'm ready to do this. But, <laughs> Messing around the air sign, and this is this is them. Swords is air. You know, at some point you felt like you may have been chasing them more, and now I'm kind of talking to the females. You may have been chasing them more than they were actually chasing you, and it was just fucking go fuck and just running around in circles. Hence the suffering in silence. But again, Aries, it looks like y'all tried to really be on top of your game. And what you were bringing to the table for some reason for a lot of you and this is not gonna resonate with everybody but for a lot of you um, 
you went into this maybe one of the few times you may have gone into a relationship where you were on solid ground all the way across the board and it just looks like <laughs> you got here with the Libra and something happened with the magician on the patient's card it's not about the manipulation but it's about knowing how to use the magic and the resources you have at hand and taking your time this is recent past energy so some of you may have had a moment where you needed to <laughs> have the flowers growing straight out your brain come on we're talking about the magician and where you had to literally pull some crap out of your ass to feel like you were doing something to solidify the relationship hence the patience and trying to wait to see where the relationship was going to go or is going to go when you get to your current energy with the high pieces on the spiritual union um this is all about following your intuition aries it, it, it just is what it is and that's that's a major card um and it's also about not becoming short-sighted and short-sighted is when you can only see here. You can't see anything past that. You can only see just right here. That's all I can see. That's your little short-sightedness. You can't see past it. And in order to keep this union and this relationship, situation, whichever you're calling it, in order to keep it on some kind of even thing, you need to see the long game. You need to, to know what your goals are. And again, going back to your overall energy, um, you, can, you walked into this and you, you're trying to deal with this at a complete level and not just bringing bits and pieces, not being overly emotional, not being uh, or not working too hard on anything. You're trying to bring the balance to the relationship. Um, but sometimes you can, if you're not following your intuition, you can just get short-sighted. You're all up on a crystal ball trying to see everything in the ball instead of coming back and looking at the bigger picture. Um, when you do that, and this is your current energy, it will go a long way in trying to help get your relationship back on track, especially if it's gone somewhere left to center, where you feel like you're doing more, or you're doing more chasing, more phone calling. You bring that up to the current energy. Begin to follow your intuition and see the long game. Your challenge, your challenge and your obstacle um, your challenge is going to be keeping it fresh and not letting your petty shit get in the way. That is your challenge. And without losing anything that you gained so far, without losing any momentum that you gained, without <laughs> overwatering the damn thing, and you know how to get, my plant, I can't pull it over here, but you know how to, the tips of the leaves get black. <laughs> you done overwatered it and left it out of the sun. That, that's your obstacle, and that's your challenge. Uh, that's the centerpiece. It's not keeping the passion ignited and not losing any ground from where you are. And that, that's difficult. I see what you're working with, Aries. It's going to be difficult. Um, and this is not... This is about Libra understanding what you're trying to do, Aries. And I think the miscommunication is coming because... Um, Libra may feel like you are trying to stifle their growth or you're trying to cut their wings and that is not what you're trying to do at all. You are trying to make sure, unlike earth energy Aries, you 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 like a bit of freedom. And if you ever look at a campfire or any kind of fire for that matter, I can't control that. You know what I'm saying? I can't you can't it's, it's not happening. It still needs room to be out there and air signs are the same Libra is no different 
they don't like to feel restricted. They don't like to feel like anybody has, you know, got a rein on them or trying to choke hold them into one spot. But the way that you represent your freedom is different. So, again, Aries, while you, you're coming out of something, you, you got plenty of passion. Libra is just there. And they, too, like balance. But sometimes, again, when you're processing information, sometimes Libra can get overly analytical and will have you literally feel like you're chasing them around, trying to get them to talk to you, say something, do something, anything, and they're busy processing, like their mind is this damn computer and just never stops. So your challenge is to not lose any ground where you are and keep the passion going in the relationship. Again, this is coming back as you trying to keep as much of this in balance keeping this emotionally healthy and that's a good thing Aries I, I can't do nothing to give you kudos on that if that's the direction you're trying to take your relationship in with the strength on the heartache and loss card you may feel at some point that it is just useless hopeless I can't hang on I'm tired and it's at that point you need to reach in and dig for the strength this is a major card and the implications of you utilizing the strength that you have to avoid any kind of heartache and loss is going to be crucial. Again, trying not to lose any ground. You know, trying to make sure your leaves ain't brown and you got them all trimmed and cut neat looking. And you ain't just got shit that's your, that again is your challenge. You not lose any ground for what you've accomplished and achieved so far. When you get into your future energy, the judgment sitting on top of the rejoicing celebration. There may be some legal things that you and your Libra may need to be taken care of. This is really resonating back with child support, taking care of kids. And kids seem to be a big theme in my readings for the past few days. So I know a lot of you are dealing with your kids. There may be some issues with your Libra and their children or your Libra and your children. So the celebration part can be there, but it's just about getting to the decisions that make that shit happen. But some of you, this is coming back about kids moving in the house. For others of you, it might be kids moving out of the house. However it's resonating and however it's going, it will be cause for celebration. Even those of you like, finally, he's 35 and he's leaving home. You know what I'm saying? Um... The legal, anybody that's dealing with anything legal, take your time <clears throat> in the next month or so as you're working through any legal processes with your Libra Aries, um, especially where kids are concerned. Make sure that everyone involved has their uh, interests represented. I'll, I'll say that. It's, it's, seems like some of you may be in a situation that somebody's voice is not being heard or not being heard clearly. So do what you can to help with that, Aries, uh, particularly if it's your spouse or, the, or your partner that's having the problem. Um, with the rest and rejuvenate, pulling out the Knight of Cups, you're going to have to take a break. You're going to have to take a break, Aries. I'm trying to keep all these balls in the air. But keep the line of communication with your partner open and keep the conversation from the heart. Don't come up with no bullshit. Be authentic and keep it real. Whatever's going on in the future, if there are things that need to be said, get them out. Get it out. Say what you need to say. But also, take time with your partner to rest and rejuvenate. Take a break. Y'all working hard, Aries. Y'all are trying to keep all these balls up in the air. You're working hard. At the end of the future energy, you may have to walk away from some things. And this, I think, may, might be the thread to pull you into the next cycle. You may have to walk away from some things in order to keep your relationship strong. Um, there may be the heartache and loss. There may be some folks you may need to walk away from in your family because they're just causing problems in your personal relationship. And again, the theme on this one very much Aries is about you. And I'm proud of you because a lot of you, it looks like y'all really did the work you needed to do before you got into this situation. And it feels like a lot of you are glad you did the work because it's helping you to understand 
certain things about how you respond in relationships. Again, your challenge for the next handful of weeks is not to lose any ground. Make sure you ain't got no brown spots on the leads or nothing. And keep the passion going. If this is who you want, if this is what you're trying to do, don't lose that light. Don't lose that hope. Don't lose your faith in it. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Um, let me pull some cards from the universe for guidance, Aries. Take your time this month, Aries, when you're processing relationship stuff, and not just with your partner, with your kids. If you need to sit down and have a conversation with your kids, I'm just kind of just doing a review of the cards. If you doing something, sit down with your kids. You need to have a moment and explain some things to them. And not surprising me, a lot of things going on right now. So they may be asking you questions about, well, my, how come the guy on TV said whatever. Take the time, Aries. Take the time to answer the questions. Don't be so damn busy you can't answer the questions. Answer the questions. Um, and help your kids, those of you that have them, um, Help them process their feels, how they're feeling, their emotions. Because a lot of times we don't think about kids, you know, just go outside and play. We don't think about them processing what they see and what they hear. So if you get, get a chance this month, Aries, sit down with your kids, talk to them, um, and answer questions they may have. That would be good for both of you and particularly good for your relationship with them. Our clans. What do you love and learn? So some of you, you may need to clean up your aura. Um, Google it. There's a bazillion little things you can do to help go a long way in cleaning up your aura. Um, and this may be talking about not losing any ground on anything. This may be where you need this so that you can maintain where you are right now. It seems like for some of you, there's some decisions you might need to be making about housing and where you're living and jobs. Once again, we come back to the same thing. It's about not losing any ground. The, the organic side of that is you may need an aura cleanse so you're not schlepping around extra energy um, that is causing you to have any kind of mental conflict. I'm just saying. What do you love? What do you love? What do you love about your partner? What do you love about your relationship? What do you love about your kids? It's a good time to sit down and write some of this down. And let people know how you feel. Too many people rolling up out of here and people, you know, not, not talking, not having the kind of conversations they need to have. So what do you love? And you need to make a list, Aries, of all the things that you love. All the things you love about your partner, even though right now you may feel like you <laughs> you losing ground and you ain't making no forward headway. Write it down anyway. This energy is not going to last forever. It's going to ease up here shortly. So uh, think about those things. What, what do you love? What do you love about your kids? And not just because they're your kids. Are they creative? Are they artistic? Do they like music? Can they sing? Your partner, what do you love about your partner? Are they a handy person? Are they smart? Are they funny? Think about those things. Sometimes taking that mental trip <laughs> will go a long way in helping you keeping the passion ignited. Learn. Learn whatever it is that you need to learn about everything going on in your world. With your kids, if you've got kids, Learn. Learn what they're doing. Learn what they're learning. If your partner is doing something new, your Libra, and Libras like to learn. Learn with them. Ask them what they're learning. Open your mind up, Aries, because it seems like you've got the mechanics of this down. You know, you got the, I'm in my shit, we're going to do this shit, I'm working hard, and you flying around, and I'm trying to maintain a home without a need to die. But what are you learning? And see, the mind doesn't expand until you start learning some shit. I know that sounds crazy, but that's exactly what the hell it is. You having all the rules, Aries, and everything in order, a dee 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 die, but have you learned anything? 
sometimes we need to stretch our minds beyond where we are and just pick up a book and read something learn something you don't know something you know you don't know um i try to make it a habit at least once a week to get online and, and just pick a planet from nasa.gov and just look at something i've not ever looked at before just because i need my brain to keep growing as old as i am i still want my mind to grow look at what's around you you got kids you ready to go back to school you know don't turn it into yeah i got homework no why don't you help them do some homework and learn with them so you can kind of put yourself in their perspective and see what it feels like not never it's never a bad thing to learn never a bad thing to learn aries i'm gonna leave it there i love you guys i hope you have a good week i will talk to y'all soon bye y'all